Okay, so we are recording now. I'm gonna go through that introduction just like super quickly for anybody who's watching the recording. I'm super grateful to have Miss Becky here. She um, is a dear friend of mine, met her six years ago on a food tour in DC. And I am just super excited for you guys to hear why. Why she chose the products that she chose for her family, for her son. She is a mom of three boys. Um, one of her little boys is special needs and he is a massive, reason part of her why she is doing what she's doing and why she decided to partner with this company. So I am going to turn it over to her and mute myself. There we go. Very good. Thank you so much, Kalina, for the sweet introduction, not once, but twice. I'm super, super excited to be here tonight to share my story. Um, somebody has probably invited you and asked, hey, I've got something to share with you. I want you to take a look. And just, I'm going to ask you tonight to listen with an open mind. Because, like Kalina said, we have been dear friends for about six years, met on a food tour. Because if anybody, those of you that don't know me, um, my mom is on here. There is no such thing as a stranger. They're only a friend you haven't met yet. Um, I've been a chatty Kathy since the day I was born. I actually got a zipper from Santa for my mouth um, at Christmas. And so, and I feel that like, you know, I used to think that was a weakness, but I honestly feel it's been a gift and a blessing because I have the passion to share with anyone who will be open and just listen. For an entire year, I told Kalina no. And she said, Becky, I think you owe it to yourself and you owe it to your son. So as she mentioned, my boys, I have 16, 11, and 8. I am born and raised in Nebraska. Um, but our youngest one that's 8, he decided to um, come three and a half months early. So while I thought I was going for a doctor's appointment three and a half hours away, next thing I knew, I was in delivering C emergency C-section. None of my family even knew that I was delivering a baby. And he came out as a one-pound little miracle that was not expected to survive. And we spent three and a half years in the NICU. And like Kalina mentioned, at the time I was working full time, I honestly thought, and I would tell people, I could never be a stay at home mom. My children would kill me and I would go crazy because I'm a people person, I feed off energy. So COVID has not been my friend um, because I love people, I love to see their smile, I love to hug and it's been rough. And so, when she reached out in February, I said, yes, I'm open. I want to take a look. And when she shared with me her sweet son's story, Logan, I've known him, I've heard about him and what these products have done for him. But not only that, what this opportunity has done for her family, I thought, why not? Why not me too? Why not Clay? What if I say no to him? See, he's got many struggles. So one being a speech delay. So five years ago, I'm going to kind of back up. Um, he was three and a half. We were completely nonverbal. We communicated by sign language. We actually just a video popped up on my stories the other day. And my mom was at the house and she was like, what was he there? About 18 months. I said, no, mom. Remember he was three. We still were nonverbal. We still couldn't talk and we couldn't walk either. So we sought medical um, advice and that's when he was diagnosed with some of his struggles that he has today. And so at that time they said, you know what? He needs therapy three days a week. And I looked at my husband and I said, how am I going to get him to therapy three days a week for PT, OT and speech, work full time, and I was the director of our revenue management for our hospital. I managed 250 physicians for all their credentialing. It was a load. So I didn't just work eight to five, punch the clock and go home. I worked endless hours. And I tried doing that for a month and I couldn't do it. I couldn't keep up with, we don't live in the same town. We live in a little town away. So running back and forth, it's like a half an hour there, half an hour home, um, you know, trying to get kids, school, baths, dinner, all those things, and it wasn't working. So I had to make the scariest decision ever to walk away from that safety net. And I know there could be some of you listening on here that maybe the same thing's happening, but not by your choice. And it was scary because I, my husband is self-employed. We have a traditional brick and mortar business where we have a meat processing plant. And that I was carrying the health insurance, the life insurance, the 401k, everything. And I'm like, 
what are we going to do? But I knew my family had to come first. And when Kalina shared with me the five F's of Q of your faith, your family, your finances, your fitness, and I'll talk about that too, and your in the friend in the friendships. I was like, I love that. I wanted to be part of a community. I wanted to be part of a culture that offered something to others to be a light, to be able to share health and wellness with them, to help them improve their finances. As Kalina met, mentioned, we, we were in a previous project together. And one of the things that was hardest on my heart was I could help people here and there with their health, but I could never help them in their finances. And when we talk about living holistically, that's the whole package. And, you know, Right now with what's happening, I've seen friends where they're getting laid off, jobs are being eliminated because of what is going on right now. And so I honestly feel that every single person needs a plan B. They need that extra stream of income because you just never know when it needs to become the plan A, which is what it has for us. And so what I love about Q is it offers something for everyone. I mentioned my kids, it helps us. It helps our parents, our grandparents, men, women. There is literally something for everyone. And so mentioning Clay's struggles, we struggled with bedwetting. We struggled with focus in school. We struggled with the speech delay and the frustration. Some of the sensory things of a lot going on. And really, and then his fine motor skills. So one of my favorite parts of his story um, is he's never been able to jump. So maybe you've been around kids and you think, I don't just stop jumping, right? Well, we would pray every day that he could jump because he wanted to jump like his brothers, like his classmates, and he would bend down with all his might and go to jump and nothing would happen. It's like you concreted his feet to the floor. Well, you guys, two weeks on our Q Max, which is our brain health micronutrient, super vitamin, whatever you want to call it, multi. And it's got over 33 clinical studies, for brain mental health, two weeks being on that along with our full spectrum hemp. And he had to hold our hands, but he jumped. Was it a huge jump? No. But to see his feet come off the ground, to see his face light up, my 16 year old was with us. We were at our chiropractor's office and even my 16 year old was in tears because to see his face light up like, what just happened? And then he wanted to try it again. And he wanted to try it again to where before he didn't want to try it. He doesn't know hard. He doesn't know I can't. He doesn't know fear. He doesn't know that he's different. But those are all the things that set in as us as adults, but he doesn't have that. And so he's taught us such a valuable lesson that I learn every single day from. Why not? What if? What you just have to try. And so to see that happen, and we've continued to notice, um, I know there's a person on here today um, who works in our school, and she told me, I saw Clay in the hall, and she's like, I can't believe how good he's doing. She's like, he can talk, and she goes, I can understand him, because most people who aren't around him a lot can't understand him. And that was so huge to hear that from a stranger, that she could understand him. And that's what it's about. It's not about me. Had Kalina not reached out to me, I am grateful every day for her. And for her not to give up on me after I told her no for a year, she could have just left it at that. But she knew, what if? What if she could be the light in our family? And not only has the products changed for him, my husband struggles with a lot of pain and inflammation, I would have never made it through COVID crisis schooling for two and a half months. Kalina, by choice, is a homeschooling mom of four. And I messaged her and I said, how am I going to get through this? And she's like, I'm there for you too. Um, because it was hard. Those two and a half months were two and a half months. The NICU was hard, but this was hard. Hard helping my kids to see his frustration of, you're not my teacher. No school today, mom. No school because he doesn't have his resource. He doesn't have his Miss Penny. <laughs> his Miss Penny's his best friend who's his para at school. She's a permanent part of our life. And I wasn't Miss Penny. So even on the hard day, I'd message Miss Penny and say, could you just Zoom with us? Because he can't do this. 
And it was hard and I was on the products and I'm so grateful that it kept me balanced and it kept me focused and it helped supported me that I wasn't completely stressed off. I'm stressed out because I am one of those that kind of has the hot head that flies off. <laughs> and I was just such a much more calm person that made it through that. And so, like I said, we have amazing products, but I will tell you my favorite product of Q Sciences is our compensation plan. This has changed everything financially for our family. We also have a part of our compensation plan that's the FFM, and it's free for being a part of Q Sciences. And what these financial coaches have done to help my husband and I who are self-employed when the stock market was crashing is, and I kept watching it and it kept dropping and it, my account kept dropping and my account kept dropping. And they were able to come in and they help us get our life insurance redone, help us get our 401k into stabler funds where we're not continuing to lose money every single day. They've helped create savings plans for my kids. And my oldest said, mom, how's come? Kale has the same amount I do. I'm 16 and he's 11. I said, because back then we didn't have a savings account. We didn't have a savings account. We, just, we, didn't, I, we didn't have money for milk. My dad paid off my car because we couldn't make our car payments. And like, as I'm sitting here, you're probably wondering, wondering what this background is. I'm sitting in my sister-in-law's Spanish classroom at our school because my mentee asked me to be here tonight for her volleyball game. I used to dream of being able to serve our community and be a mentor to other kids and help them. And now I can do that. And right now we can't meet with our kids because of COVID, but I can be here to support her in our volleyball game. I now serve on our teammates board. And it's such a great thing to, to be there for my kids' events. I missed so much of my 16-year-old's life. And I was like, I will be there forever. I will be there to support. I go back and I see what I'm seeing with my eight-year-old and my 11-year-old that I never saw with my 16 year old. And so if I can help another mom, if their goal is to come home and be a stay at home mom, or maybe you know somebody with their job or their health or whatever, that's what my goal is. It's not about me. It's about who can I help next? Who can I be a light with? Who can I serve next? And I will tell you, I just came back from a convention at our court with our corporate and I have never been so, my cup overflowing to be surrounded by all these people that I never knew that will forever be a part of my family. Mr. Mark Wilson, who is our president CEO, to watch him cry on stage. He's a two-time Super Bowl quarterback champion. He was a real estate developer. He wanted, he was going to retire to the golf course, but he said, I knew this was not all for me. He said, I knew I had to do something to serve others. There's got to be more that I can make an impact in this world. And that's when he partnered with our Stephen Kimberly, who designed our products, and later with Jake Spencer. And to watch him on stage and to be able to see this unfold and how now we're in 18 different countries and we just continue to make this domino effect, that's what this is all about. This is about who can we help next? Who's that next mom that's going to be able to be helped next? Who's that next person that can be helped in their finances, in their health, whatever it is. And I have a child that needs money for food because he's hungry. And so it's just such a huge blessing. I want to thank you all for letting me share my story tonight. I'm not going to go into a lot of the details of everything. Tomorrow evening, we are having another call at 8 p.m. Central Time that maybe if you thought of somebody tonight that you're like, gosh, this person needs to hear this or this person needs to hear this. What if my dear, beautiful friend, Colleen, who I got to meet in Dallas, I feel like I've known her forever, but finally got to meet her in person. She is a CRNA. Her husband is also a CRNA. She's also a boy mom and she's just an amazing person and their story is unbelievable. I'm not going to spill the beans for her because it's her that needs to tell her story. But I just invite you to hear from her family. Um, invite your friends and family. It's open to everybody. It's the exact same Zoom ID that you heard me share my story here tonight. And 
again, I just ask you to have an open mind that what if, why not you? Why not you? What, you know, this business is for everyone. These products are for everyone. And what we have coming is so phenomenal that I don't even know all the details, but I cannot be so more excited to be a pioneer. We are a ground floor company that was just getting started. And so I'm so excited for what the future holds for Kalina's family, for our family, for everyone who might be on here. We hope you join our Q family for you, not for us, join for you. So get back with the person who maybe invited you to hear my story tonight. Um, any questions, we're happy to do one-to-one. -one. If you have more questions, get back with them. They can connect with you and I'd be more than happy to share in more details. So I'll turn it back over to Kalina. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Becky, for sharing that. Um, exactly what she said, this is for you just like me sharing with her was for her. And that is truly our purpose. That is why we do what we do. And this really just kind of speechless after listening to that. Um, I have so many people that I can't wait to get that in their hands because that is what's changing lives. So thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. I hope you all have a blessed evening. And please, please jump on tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Like Becky said, same Zoom, everything. Um, cannot wait for you guys to hear from Miss Colleen. She is a nurse anesthetist, and she will go more into the how. How do we do what we do and all about our product line? You guys have a wonderful evening. Thank you.